guys welcome back to the channel or welcome if you are new my name is destiny and i am going to show you really quickly the three planners that i'm starting with for 2025 but i just wanted to show you them like this before i break them apart because i am going to franken plan all three of these planners together just a disclaimer real quick my son is playing with his little toy vacuum so you probably hear buzzing in the background but this is going to be a really short clip because I'm gonna start Franken planning these. So the next time you see these planners, they're gonna all be merged into one. But what I'm thinking that I'm going to do is probably do four months in each planner, just because since it is three planners, I was gonna do six months and six months, but I realized putting three months of planners wow. into two planners is still gonna be pretty big and the coil is not that thick. So, I'll probably do four months, four months, four months, and I think that'll work perfectly because this will be, I love this cover so much, it's so freaking cute. I'm thinking this will be January to April, this will be May to August, and then this is perfect, this will be all the burr months, <laughs> September to December with these pumpkins. So I'm going to just really quickly show you what each of these planners is. So that whenever you see the next clip following this and they're put together, you'll know where each spread came from in case you were curious. So this first one here is the Horizontal Life Planner. I think this is the Evolve colorway. This is my first time ever using Erin Condren, so I am not too educated on what the things are called. But that's what I think it's called. I think it's called Evolve, possibly. Um, so, yes. This was the horizontal layout, and I will be using this. Um, I mentioned in my last video that I found Kristen Creamer here on YouTube, and I have been obsessed with her beautiful functional spreads, like her handwriting, her like thought process, everything is just beautiful. Um, she used a horizontal layout, I think like two or three years ago, and I just found those on her um, on her YouTube. Right now, she's using a compact vertical. Um, but I already have some ideas of how I'm going to use this. The, this type of spread is going to be for my functional planning. And then I got the notes page add-on as well as the tracker page add-on. I'm not exactly sure how I'm going to use this yet. I was thinking maybe like my meal plan or something like that because I do want to start meal prepping and eating healthier and cooking at home not eating out lord help us all <laughs> and then maybe like a running task list so that is my thought process for this type of layout and i got i think this was called the sunrise coil i think it really fits with this really this color cover really well and then i have this one which is the family organizer book so it's not technically a planner but there is 12 months in here so i mean i it, it still is kind of a planner so it has the monthly calendar, baby boy, stop honey. And then it has all these little sections to track stuff. And if I don't need a recurring schedule, I can put a sticker over it and label it something different. These are un unlabeled so I can literally use them for whatever I want. I haven't figured this spread out. I'm gonna uh, binge some YouTube videos of people who use this and get some ideas hopefully of what they do but I really liked this because well, my son's not in school yet he's only two and a half but he will be going to preschool um but I don't know if I'll use this for school because he's not like going to get homework or anything from preschool but it has dates to remember but I really liked this because it has memories and milestones so I have a two and a half year old right now and then in February I'm giving birth to our second son and so I just I think this I thought this would be really cool to like write down milestones, memories, achievements. And so I'm really excited to get into this. And then at the end of each month, you actually have a section where you can put all your favorites that happened the month and then journal about it. So that is another planner that will be merging into one. And then the last one is another life planner. I got this one in the muted colorway because I got the hourly layout. So what I'm going to be doing with this is this is what you guys will be seeing my vertical sticker kits in. Right now, I am in the A5 common planner, but next year I will be using this because I have like at maybe possibly a hundred <laughs> sticker kits just from Scribble Prints Co. because I'm obsessed with her sticker kits. I haven't bought from her in like a year and a half, but 
there was a there was a time I think in like 2022 that every single week she released I was buying them um, and I didn't even have a vertical sticker or a vertical planner at the time I was in Hobonichi Cousin and now I'm in a common planner so I still can't really use them so I got this to do my sticker kitting memory planning so my and then also I got another section of the notes and the tracker pages because the tracker section it only came with like 30 weeks and obviously there's 52 weeks in a year so you would need two of them so all of these will be merged into three planners and all the spreads will be dispersed so my thought process is <laughs> uh if i can get this out in a co like in like a way that makes sense um you guys will be getting at least two videos from me a week in these planners so you will be getting a functional planner set up where I literally am just making lists there might be a couple stickers but for the most part it's just gonna be brain dumping what I have going on that week and then you're going to be getting my gener my, my typical weekly sticker memory planning videos as well and then every month you will be getting extra videos so you'll get two of these planning videos a month or a week I'm sorry I'm already confused <laughs> two of these videos a week in my planners you'll get the monthly cultivate what matters goal planning setup and then we will have a budget video every single month which hopefully this is my year to make everything happen financially for me um, and my savings that would be great but yeah this is the planners that I am merging into three <laughs> So the next clip you see that will all be put together. I just wanted to show you them before I tore them apart. So I will see you in the next clip. Bye. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel or welcome if you are new. My name is Destiny and I am so excited for this video. I have been waiting for my flicking husband to be home from this TDY training whatever the heck so I could film for freaking 2025 let's go I'm so excited so for the past two years I have actually been in like Tomo River bound planners it was the Hobonichi cousin last year and the Sterling Inc this year do you really have to do that right now hey I'm trying to film a video stop stop good heavens every time every time <laughs> But I'm so excited. This year I am actually going to be in the Erin Condren Planner. And ask me why. <laughs> because I've been watching Kristen Kramer on YouTube. And I, when it comes to planners and stationery, I am a follower. <laughs> and whenever I find a YouTuber that I like, I want to do what they're doing. Because her planner is so beautiful. And she seems like she has planner peace, and I want planner peace and planner beautitude, beauty. So here we go. <laughs> so I have actually split my planners into three separate ones. Um, so you will see that in the intro clip. Um, and what I did is I just, if you watch Kristen Kramer, you know I did what she did. <laughs> I literally took pliers and cut off the bent in end like how it bends around to keep it from uncoiling I literally cut it off and I got the two millimeter and three millimeter little caps they're on Amazon and they're just little they're like wire caps that's what I typed in I typed in two millimeter and three millimeter wire caps and these popped up and they popped on perfectly. You put the two millimeter one first and then you put the three millimeter one and it keeps your planner from uncoiling. So I was able to uncoil it because I've uncoiled a planner in the past and then when I recoiled it, I like scratched up the coil and it was like all janky looking. And so I'm really glad that Kristen Kramer shared this idea. I don't know where she saw it from. I saw it from her. So she's the one that's getting my credit. <laughs> um, so that's what I did. And now my planner is literally split. You, I'll, I'll show you as I flip through it. Um, but there's three planners in here. That's why I split it into three of the coils. There's four months in each planner. I have, so I have January through April, and then it goes to another planner every four months. So I will show you as we go. But we are going to start with 
this first page. I am, if you guys watched my 2025 goal planner, I am using the Cultivate What Matters power sheets for next year to see how that will do with my goals. So I printed this off of the website. It's a free printable and then I put the little flag stickers to go with each of the goals. I, they're color coordinated. And so I'm going to put that right here. Yes, that's exactly what Kristen Creamer did too. <laughs> Two of the things I'm doing in this video are literally exactly what she did. So no creativity on my part. It's I, it, I'm doing what she did, but it was so beautiful what she did that I just feel like I need to <laughs> replicate it. So I hope you guys don't mind. Let me just grab some washi real quick. Um, I don't know which one I want to use. Oh goodness. Okay. All right. I almost pulled all my washies out there. Sorry. Ooh, that's a good one. Okay. So for my goals, I'm going to use this affirmations washi by TCMC just to secure these in place. And I suppose since this is kind of tall, I'm going to go right down the side. Oh, okay. And it has to be like, come on, it has to be a little bit straight. <laughs> Help me out here, planner, please, please. Um, I, 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 I don't, oh my gosh, that was like really bad stuttering. I can't find my paper cutter. I, I have one somewhere, but I cannot for the life of me find it, which is very concerning because I don't take it out of my office, um, but it has evidently been taken out of my office. <laughs> my husband swears he didn't take it. So I, I don't know. I don't know. So these papers are not cut straight, but we're going to make do. I'm going to have it just like that. And then if I want to use this dashboard, this is my first time using this planner, so I don't really know what goes here. So I'm just going to leave it open in case I end up using it. But for now, that is what is there. The Erin Condren planners come with these little stencils, which I don't know if I will use. I'm a newbie here. And then I can put my name which I suppose I will do. <laughs> I will do it in gray. Please, Lord, don't me don't let me mess this up. First time writing in this planner. Come on, please, please let it. Come on, it's got to be cute, please. Okay, let's see if I can do this. I was gonna get a sticker of my name to put on here, but then I never ordered it when I ordered my planner, Kate Hall. So. Writing it is it. Writing it, it is, it is. And hopefully that doesn't look too bad. You know, whatever. Let's just move. I'm just so excited to get into here. Okay, so the first thing we are going to do is we are going to put these full page trackers from Planner Kate. So I have a weekly weigh-in tracker. So there's 52 little scales. A migraine tracker, which I don't have so bad anymore, only because I'm on medication for it. So hopefully it stays like that. I have a cleaning routine tracker, which this is kind of just going to be like to reference if I need to, because I do have another planner that I'm going to be using for telling me what to clean. And then house projects in case, because there's, we're buying our house where we're at now. So we will be slowly trying to renovate some stuff. And so let me show you what my idea is. So these are two papers that I didn't use from the three planner, Erin Condren planners that I bought and have taken apart. So this is going to be a little bit tedious, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut a little slit into all of these so that they can pop in. And then after these four months, I'll pop these out and put them into the next planner so that I will always have my trackers in whichever planner that I am in. So I'm going to do this tedious part real quick. Don't worry. I will skip it for you but I'm gonna go ahead and get all of this cut. Okay, <laughs> that was so tedious. Okay, so now they are cut and they'll pop in kind of just like a happy planner. So what I'm gonna do is take these full sheets of paper and hopefully lay these stickers down straight. I've never used a full 
spread sticker before so I don't know exactly like where I'm supposed to start and stop it so this is going to be interesting uh, apparently from what I've seen planner Kate stickers are removable so if I do mess up it will hopefully not be the end of eternity <laughs> I'll be able to just pull it back up so I guess let's test that hypothesis. I am like right on top of the planner right now. So if you see my head, just ignore me. I just, oop. For a new planner, it's gotta be perfect, okay? I know we're trying to overcome perfectionism, but like for a new planner setup, you kind of, you, you gotta get it, you know, it gotta be cute. <laughs> I'm pretty sure this is not perfect, but it's not not perfect like it's not as horrible as it could have been so I'm gonna go ahead and get it sat down okay not bad not bad it looks pretty straight okay I'm not mad at it I am not mad at it okay and then I also like how it says tracker so I'm gonna know where my trackers are at all times and then I'm gonna turn it over and do the migraine tracker I'm so excited for 2025 like I can't wait for Christmas, but like, to, like after Christmas, like, you know, good riddance, good riddance 2024. <laughs> I am so excited to be trying a new planner. You guys don't even understand. I've never used a planner this large because even the first three years I was on YouTube, I was doing bullet journaling in an A5. And then I think one, one of the years, the last year I did bullet journaling, I was in a B5 which was quite large, but I've never been in a ring planner. So I'm really excited. That looks so good. Okay, so we have my weekly weigh-ins and my migraine tracker. I'm getting so excited, oh my gosh. Okay, and then we're gonna pull this new paper in. Also, pause, hold the phone. I was looking at my YouTube studio the other day, guys, and I am shook, okay? I have a 1,005 subscribers. You guys, I almost cried, like I could cry. I've been on YouTube for five years <laughs> and you know, I know like most people, you know, whatever they, they get a thousand subscribers like their first year on YouTube. That hasn't been my story and that's okay. But I am so grateful to all of you guys that have chosen to subscribe and stick around and hang out with me and just be here. It is just been so amazing. I can't believe that I have a thousand subscribers. I can't believe that you guys enjoy hanging out with my crazy self, my roller coaster of emotions and ups and downs. I just, I'm so grateful to you guys. Thank you so much. Um, and my next goal now, I guess for 2025 is just to get monetized. So I, I, I still need watch hours. And so I'm hoping with the new year, my content will be so good that you guys won't click out of the video early or like skip a video because it's not your vibe. I hope that I will be putting out really interesting stuff next year that you guys will be interested in. And that's just my next goal. My next goal is to make YouTube my job. Um, and I just, you know, I don't know, like maybe not my job because I enjoy it too much. I don't think it could ever be a job because honestly, I literally just talk to you guys. <laughs> I play with stickers and I talk to you guys. That's hardly a job. Um, but I just, I, I really appreciate you guys. And I'm so glad that you guys are here for my content and my videos and my rambles and my <laughs> tangents. I'm just so grateful to y'all. Thank you all so much. For being here every single week. I just, I, I, I appreciate y'all so much. I'm so grateful <laughs> to just be able to talk to you all. And to those of you that comment regularly, you know who you are. I literally, I'm not even lying. I look forward to y'all's comments every single time I post a video. I know sometimes I'm really slow at getting back to replying to you. But I have, okay, I have five dogs, three cats, a two-year-old, and a pregnancy that I'm having complications with right now. So I'm a bit, like, I got a lot going on, but every single time, I'm going to go ahead and pop these in. Um, but every single time I see you guys leave a comment, it literally makes me smile, and I read it as, as soon as I see it. 
I just don't always get to reply as soon as I see it. But it makes me so happy to talk to you guys, interact with you guys, hear your thoughts, hear your opinions, know what you're doing and your planners because I'm nosy. And I just, <laughs> it's a good time. So I just, again, I just really appreciate all of you for being here. I really do. So, so now see how that popped in. That is beautiful. And then every four months I will just take it out. Hopefully these little papers will last. I'm going to try to just be gentle with them, but then I'll be able to use them all year long and they won't be stuck in any particular planner. I can take it with me as the year goes on, which I'm going to need, especially I just ripped that one. Okay. I'm not doing great at taking care of this already. Oh no. Okay. Hold on. Give me a sec. <laughs> uh oh. I said I need to be gentle and then I went and not, I was not gentle. Okay, so I thought my nails would be the gentlest way to do it, but I don't know. <laughs> okay. Okay, I just messed up these little ones right there in the middle, but hopefully they will survive. Okay, so here we go. At the beginning of the year, I will put my starting weight, which it's kind of going to be a doozy because in January, I'm going to be eight, eight and a half months pregnant. Um, so, you know, I'm still going to put it, whatever. And then like in February, it's going to be a drastic drop once I give birth. But, you know, <laughs> it's okay because I want to fill it out. But um, I'm going to wait probably, I'm not going to put my goal weight in in January because I want to see how much I go down after giving birth to my son, obviously, and then I will judge from where I'm starting then and put a goal weight. So that's what I will do there. Again, my migraine tracker, I'm going to have to figure out what I want the key to be, like severe, mild, how long it lasted, how it started, stuff like that, I guess. Um, cleaning routine, I'm going to have to look at my other planner and see what it has me doing, and then I'll just jot down stuff from there. And then house projects, I know for sure, I'm gonna label these the months of the year, obviously January, February, March, December. And then what we're gonna do each month, this might not get filled out every single month and that's okay, but I know for sure in January, we're gonna be laying concrete in the backyard. So, you know, like that's what's gonna be going on in those. And then right here, I'm not going to lie, I haven't really thought about what I'm going to do right here. <laughs> um, I guess just, uh, I'm not even going to lie to y'all. I don't know what I'm going to do right here. If you guys have any ideas, let me know. Now for the fun part, what Kristen Kramer did in hers, since she also does the Power Sheets goal method system, is she broke these into quarters. So quarter one, quarter two, quarter three, quarter four, obviously January through, J excuse me, January through December. And then what she has done. Um, well, I've only seen her set it up. I, I don't know how it's working for her, but I loved the idea. So I want to try it as well. Hopefully it works for me. <laughs> so we're going to start here, January, February, March. And then what I'm going to do is each month, I'm going to write the few things that I plan to do in regards to my goals so that all of my planners will kind of carry over into each other if that makes sense, um, hold on. There's, sorry, there's a lot of sun. I'm trying to like, my curtains are like blocking it as best as I can get it to block it. So hopefully that's okay. I'm trying not to like blind anyone with like a bl a ray of sunshine. Okay, so, and then this will be like a little snapshot. So whenever I'm not near my power sheets planner, I'll still have my little goal tasks that I need to do in here. So that'll kind of tie my planners in together. And then in Kristen Kramer fashion, I'm going to use my Cricut <laughs> little sticker and I'm going to put the dates down as straight as I can. Um, and then she actually labeled it quarter one, quarter two, quarter three, quarter four. I don't think I'm going to worry about that just because... I don't have the little blocks that she used, like the little Planner Kate little square rectangle boxes. It's okay. I'm going to look at this. I'm going to know what I'm doing, okay? <laughs> so it's okay. I'm not worried about it. You can look at it and tell that it's quarter one, quarter, you know what I mean? So it's okay. I'm not really worried about that, but I am really excited to see how this is going to look at the end of the year because just seeing the way that it looked when she set it up, I like 
I was shook. It was beautiful. Um, but I'm also, you know, <laughs> I'm a sucker for pretty things. So January, February, March. So I'm, I'm pretty easy to impress. So, <laughs> so that's fine. Um, did I ask you guys, oh my gosh, I have been doing terrible lately. Have I asked you guys how y'all's week was going or did I just start in with my babbling and over excitement about finally being able to set up my new planners? How are you guys doing? How are y'all feeling about the new year? Are y'all, do y'all think this is going to be y'all's year or not? <laughs> because I really thought that 2024 was going to be my year to accomplish some goals, okay? And then it was very quickly my goal, or, and then it very quickly became my year to ignore some goals. So, Jennifer, in March, April, May. I I'm literally going down the line. I don't know why I keep checking it to make sure I'm doing it right, but you know, <laughs> it's okay. Um, but yeah, so it, it very quickly became my year to give up on some goals. So I'm hoping 2025 is going to be different. I am trying out a new goal planner. Um, so hopefully that's the motivation I need. I have so many ideas now for YouTube content since I'm trying to get back into doing all the things that I used to do. So like we'll do goal planning every single month. We'll be in this planner multiple times a month because I have, I'll show you, I have two, I have two monthly tabs every single month because I'll be doing two separate, th three separate things. Holy cannoli. Well, you guys will only see two of them because one of them is going to be like daily journaling and you know, do you really want to, I mean, if you really want to, I guess you could let me know. And like, I suppose I could flip through my daily journaling, <laughs> but you know, I don't know if that would be too interesting. So we're going to have Erin Condren planner setups. We're going to have budget with me's again. We are going to have, um, if I can figure out how to properly, um, what am I trying to say? Cash stuff envelopes. We're going to have those videos. We're going to have the goal planning videos. Like guys, I have so many ideas for the new year and mind you, I'm having a baby in February, but the, the military regulation just changed it to where husbands literally with my first son, my husband got two weeks, two weeks. That is it before he had to go back to work after my first son was born. But thank the Lord, they came to their senses and now husbands get a decent three months to be with their families after a child is born. So I'm, I'm giving birth in mid-February. So my husband will be home until about mid-May. So I'm hoping that'll give me enough time to figure out like a routine and everything um, and get my, my sons. Oh my God, I can't believe I'm about to have sons plural. That's insane. I'm so excited. Um, so yeah, hopefully that will give me enough time to get into like a routine of with my kids and still be able to make the content. And like I said, since my husband will be home for that extended period of time, he's not going TDY or anything anywhere. So I will definitely be having the time to make the videos because I will be breastfeeding. So that means that my husband uh, is going to be on toddler duty and, you know, newborns, they're easier throughout the day. Through the night, not so much, but during the daytime, they kind of just lay there. So I'll be able to make videos even while I'm taking care of my newborn. We'll just be hanging out in here. Y'all will probably hear him babbling and whatever. So you guys are going to get to hear my little baby when he's here. He's going to be making his appearances with the, the, the babble, baby babble. Y'all, I hope y'all are ready. Not trying to give anyone baby fever, but you know, <laughs> it's going to be cute. So I hope you guys are excited. I just, I'm so excited. I don't know. Like I feel so much better about the year 2025 than I did about the year 2024, like as far as my YouTube content. Like I just really feel like I've gotten into my groove and I know what my style is now. Like I tried bullet journaling for three years and I was never really passionate about it. Every time it came to the end of the month and it was time to set up a new video, I was like, oh, I gotta come up with a theme. I gotta do all that. Like it was, it, it, it really became a chore and it really did feel like a job. But now, like, this type of planning with stickers, who doesn't love to play with stickers? Like, I, am, I just enjoy this so, so much. So, I just, I don't know, like, 
I don't know. I just feel like I've come into my groove. So hopefully you guys feel the same. Hopefully you guys are grooving with me, enjoying the videos with me. I really, really do hope so. Um, so yeah, I don't know how long I've been talking <laughs> about that, but hopefully it was interesting, entertaining all the same while you watch me put all these stickers down. But there we go. That is how this spread is going to look. Again, each quarter is laid out and I'm going to put the tasks that I'm hoping to accomplish in each of those months so that it will be a quick reference um, whenever I'm using this planner. I am literally going to murder my two puppies. <laughs> I turned the video off for a second to go check on them, and they literally chewed the plug off of our, I think it's like a thousand dollar pit boss smoker. Um, and they've chewed up the entire cover that protects it from the rain. <laughs> oh my god. Mmm. I, okay, I'm, you know, I'm regretting life choices, I'm regretting certain adoptions, <laughs> but I'm gonna try to move through it, please, thank you, I need words of encouragement. Okay, so, moving on, <laughs> when you flip the page right before you get into every month, there is a blank page here, and I found another YouTuber, <laughs> what do you know? Uh, it is Plan Sarah Plan, and she uses a Erin Condren planner as well. Her spreads are absolutely gorgeous too. She does a monthly prayer, moving it before she moves into the month. She'll have a prayer here that she'll write out and read, I guess, I suppose. Well, obviously, you know, you're writing it, you're reading it at the same time. So she'll do a monthly prayer. I will be doing the same. <laughs> Again, not very creative Creative over here. I have, listen, the tracker page was my creative idea, okay? <laughs> That's my contribution to this planner setup. Everything else is inspired by others. So hopefully you don't mind. <laughs> Um, so that's what we'll be doing here. And then whenever you move into it, this is the monthly spread. I went with the Evolve uh, theme. So I will be using this as a regular monthly calendar. This will be my functional um, calendar spread. So I'll put appointments, you know, birthdays, holidays, husband's TDY, stuff like that will go here. So not very exciting, like nothing like mind boggling here. <laughs> um, other than I suppose, you know, the if I use a sticker kit, that will be exciting. And if I do use a sticker kit, obviously you guys will be here for it. So that is how that will be set up. And then again, <laughs> plan Sarah plan. Um, she, um, what she does on this spread was very beautiful and I would like to um, be a copycat. <laughs> So she has memory verses on the blank spread here. Like, so each week she will have a verse that is her weekly verse, which is what we will be putting on the hourly. We'll be putting it here. So I will have all of them listed out here for week one, week two, week three, week four. You know, they'll all be in one place, just set like a snapshot so I can see them. And then right here, Ideally will be a book of the month because one of my goals in my power sheet in my power sheets is to read at least 12 books a year. So that's one book a month, <laughs> obviously. So I will be putting the book of the month like she does a little picture of it here. I will try to keep up with that. I'm not very good at printing things out and putting them in my planner, but I will try because her spread looks great. <laughs> so we'll see. And then I will be, um, I'll be putting like goals here, like the main goals again from the, the tracker spread up front. I'll be putting what my focus is that month. I don't know what exactly I'm going to do right here. And then maybe here I will do a journaling, a little bit of journaling of like the highlight of the month right here. So that will be that. And then the first layout that I have is the horizontal layout. So what I'm gonna be doing, this is gonna be the functional setup video that you guys are gonna get from me every single week. 
And here is my brand new Planner Kate binder. It's the inch one and it's already packed full because I got like every single sticker that exists from her. But what I will be doing is I have these breakfast, snack, lunch, snack, dinner <laughs> stickers. They will be going right here and they're kind of short. So that'll be perfect. I will be able to put my blood pressure right under it, which is these blood pressure stickers, or I also have this option. So my meals and blood pressure will be here because as you guys know, um, right now I have gestational diabetes. Once I give birth, it will go away, but I'm still gonna wanna track for health reasons. But my blood pressure, I'm assuming, I've always, since giving birth to my first child, I've had, I've struggled with high blood pressure, so I'm assuming I'm gonna be on the medicine for the foreseeable future until I can like, I guess get my health in check and they're comfortable with me coming off of it. So I did get stickers to track that and to track my food. That's what I'll be doing in this little square here. And then I also have my, this will be my medicine tracker every single day, which is just gonna be a weekly thing. So actually I'm not gonna put that on this spread, ignore me. It's just gonna be my meal tracking and my blood pressure here. And then right here, I will just list out anything that I have to do that month or that day. So again, if you watch Kristen Kramer, the way that she does her functional planning setups, that is what I'm gonna be doing is just to-do list on each day. That's what's gonna go on this type of weekly. And then we're gonna, I don't know what I'm gonna do with these yet. So if you guys have any ideas, please let me know. It's gonna be like this every single month. I'm gonna have two um, notes pages because I have two weekly setups. I have two different weekly layouts in each month. So I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with the blank pages, but if you guys have ideas, let me know. And then this is the second type of video that you guys are gonna be getting from me in this planner is my regular sticker kit set weekly setup, my memory planning setups with my sticker kits. So that's what these trackers will be for. So like my medicine tracker will go over here and my activity tracker will go over here whichever one I wanna use. And then on days that I close all of my rings, which is not too often, <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, but I would put that right here just so I can see a snapshot and you know, be like really proud of myself. <laughs> and then the rest of these are just random stickers, script stickers um, for me to use with planning, but I have all of the ones that I'll be using daily at the back. So that is what we will be doing. And then again, regular weekly setups with my sticker kits here. So whichever type of planner you are, whether you're a functional planner, maybe you'll show up for these videos every week when I post them, or if you like my memory planning, you'll show up for these. Or if you don't, if you enjoy everything, you'll just be here for all of them. <laughs> and I would love that. And then the third type of planner I had was the family organization planner. So I'm not exactly sure on everything that I'm gonna do here. I'm not going to lie because there's kind of like a lot of checklists. But for one, I know that this is going to be my son's checklist, like bath time, brush his teeth. Um, I don't know, haircut or I don't know. This is going to be for my son, though. Whatever I'm tracking here will be for my son playing at the park, you know, stuff like that. Um, I don't really know. I'm going to have to watch some more YouTube videos and see how other people use all of these things. But I do want to have like journal journal entries in here, like how the how the week is or how the how the month is going, how how it went, what what did we do that month? My son's not in school, but maybe some activities that we did together, like teaching him numbers and colors and stuff like that. Um, milestones for both my son, my my two year old, and then once my baby is born, his his milestones will go here too. Um, special memories that happened at the month and then just pages to journal <laughs> we'll go there and then it has a little best of the month prompts here um, so if you guys have any ideas for a lot of these spreads let me know if you use that type if you use the memory planner let me know what you use all of those extra pages for because I'm not quite sure on all of the things what I'm gonna do like for the school one and everything because my son's not in school but I do want to use it as like extra special memories just for my family, not just my regular memory planning in the weekly spreads. 
And then we get to the second monthly tab that will be for every single month. This is where I'm going to do like um, gratitude, like grateful for each day or special moment each day, sticker of the day. This is going to be a fun spread, just kind of like the best thing that happened that day or something like that is what this monthly spread will be for. I'm not quite sure what this dashboard is gonna be used for, but these weeklies are going to be used as journaling. So the gray tab is always gonna be just a little me journaling, a little blurb about each day, and then maybe one word, I don't know, something right here, like a, a running gratitude list throughout the week as I'm filling out my journal, as like I'm journaling, I'll just put a couple things I'm grateful for each day. And then, like I said, not sure quite yet what I'm gonna do there. I'm gonna have to hopefully have it all, have it all figured out before we get to 2025. So yeah, that is, that's what's going on. Um, and I, I made sure to count and make sure that I have enough paper of these weekly spreads for every single month. But yeah, that is, that is how my 2025 Erin Condren planners are going to look. So again, I have four months in each spiral. So I'm going to be switching planners three times a year, three times next year, but I'm not really going to have to do anything extra since I made these into little pull off tracking things. I'll just pop these off. I can untape this and move it over with me. The one thing that I will have to figure out how to transfer over is this spread because I didn't get more of these stickers. So I'm going to have to figure that out. <laughs> I guess I should have. Oh, that's what I was going to do. I was going to. Oh, man, I was going to since it was exactly four months, I was going to do January, February, March, April, and then list things down long ways. OK, I'm probably. I don't know though, because that actually looks good and I don't want to change it. Um, so I'm not sure what I'm going to do in the other two planners. Maybe I'll just replicate it and I have four months before I'll need to order these stickers again if that is what I end up deciding to do. So don't worry, there's time. Hopefully I'll have it all figured out before 2025 begins. But I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys enjoyed staying and hanging out with me. I hope you are looking forward to the content I am hoping to bring you guys in 2025. I appreciate you all so much. Again, 1,005 subscribers. I literally could cry just thinking about it. I, I, I'm so grateful that you guys are here and hopefully enjoying the videos that I'm making. Um, so yeah, I'm very grateful, very blessed to have you all here. Um, so I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a like, consider subscribing if you are not already. Um, and I will see you in the next video. Okay. Bye.